big opportunity for our guys to do something special this year. We are in the second half of year five and sit at four and two. Besides a week one blowout loss to Arizona and a heartbreaker in the Battle of the Beaches, our team is still in a position to go the distance in the Mountain West. If we can play for the title game, it will be a school first. Speaking of school first, has it sunk in yet? The end of this season will be the first time that we graduate recruits that came into Coach Phillip Rivers' system. Adam Allen, Brandon Moore, Big Willie, Alex Brown, and Shane Dorsey, the big five that laid the foundation for this program. This is the only recruiting class that can say they were here for the first victory in school history. They were the building blocks, the sponges that soaked up all the woes and fears and expunged life into this team. Although a Mountain West title's within reach this year, they won't see the fruits of their labor when we win the Natty, but we won't forget their sacrifice. The school is in a better place because of them, and no better place to see that than ESPN's projected outlook for Salona Beach over the next few years. Stonks up. But as Drake said, let's laugh now and cry later for the recruits we will miss. Taking a glance at the future, I can hardly contain my excitement. We are this close from landing the best recruits in school history. Game changers, future first round picks, and guys that will ultimately win us that national championship. I believe Zach Miller with four earnest years can be that guy, pal. The ideal dual threat quarterback. Plenty of action to come as we finish out year five, and it all starts with a heated rivalry, the battle for San Diego. Aztecs, sponges, this rivalry goes back just a handful of years, but it's been lights out action since. Not gonna lie, I haven't seen as much John John this year as I did in his first season, so I'm hoping he can pick it up on the line. Cause Buddy's got a lot of slack to pick up as we talked about his compatriots on the line, man, are graduating. Aztecs two and four, we're four and two, so let's prove why we're the better team. Third down here, looking to make the stop. They go out and he steps out short, man. You gotta love when they don't know anything about the field and where they're stepping. And let's bring them out, bring them out. Here comes the offense. Adam Allen has been on a mission this year. I have liked the way he's stepped up in his final senior season. And jot this down as a Salona Beach first, but he is the first one playing up to a 90 overall. And Brandon Moore already out here on the next play, so that's not good news. Man stepped up his drip game with the sleeve, but didn't step up his offensive performance as a quarterback. Let's hand it off on third down, and he just penetrated right through the center, bro. There's the update. Bruce shoulder. He will return soon, but look at Phillip Rivers, man. So inspirational going for it on fourth down and it didn't pay off second and 11 Barry blanketing these guys except the one guy we left open McCormick scores there he is Adam Allen back in the trenches dropping back to give a ball the Buchanan the 97 speed Alaskan was almost out of there let's draw up some curls here could have probably dumped it out there had a running back as well but heck Adam Allen can scramble past midfield love the efficiency already in a strike to the big tight end that is the six foot eight machine or is it six seven uh He's tall. Can confirm. 6'8". I just knew that dude was massive. Pause. Touchdown. No pause there. Four and a half minutes to go. Second quarter action across the middle. That was dangerous. Don't know how he fit it in. Third and forever to go for the Aztecs. Cannot afford to blunder here and... Oh yeah. Looking to move down the field once more. Drops one off to Jennings. Old reliable. Scrambling out. Looks like Buchanan gets open. The speedster. What a catch. Really not trying to jinx anything, but our receivers aren't even dropping the ball today. And I jinxed it. Looking to keep the drive alive. And wow, he beat Buchanan on that route. 7-7 seven, seven before half. McCoy. And why did the receiver stop? I thought this was a route 22 was going to keep slanting, but no. As we take in the sights and sounds of this game, I'm curious what your favorite sponge player is right now on the team. Maybe you're a fan of how Big Willie gets it done in the trenches. Maybe you like John John. Fourth down stop. We held him. Let's call a timeout so they don't chew much more clock before the half. Aztec settling for a field goal and it's down the money. Third down, just looking to pick up the first. We got Jennings and we got some more yards there too. Oh yeah, we got a quick jump on the line. Jennings holds on. Don't trust the kicker we got right now. And actually we're in the market for a new one. Six seconds left, five seconds left. Quick dump out here to Jennings. Two, timeout. 27 yards really should be nothing for us. Cleveland barely squeaks it in. 10-10, let's drop it out to Buchanan who gets a step past the man. Is that stiff arm enough? He breaks free. Coming out aggressive, swing in here in the second half and that opens up the run game. Burrell in motion, let's feed scope. The other running back we got, the 1B, nice spin in first down. Second and four red zone action. 
Pressure coming in. We're going to scramble out. We got to step on both defenders here, trying to push forward. Let's hand it off to Brent, who's going to go up the middle. Didn't reach in. Let's try that again. Second and goal. There we go. Right back down the field again. Adam Allen scrambling out, finds Cozart. Touchdown. And that passes Dylan Wave, a OG from year one of Salona Beach. And why the heck not? It's rivalry football. Go for two. Scope, can you do the rest, my friend? Third and seven. Defense holding up their end of the bargain. Another fourth down. Three and out for the Aztecs. Just under four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, handing off on the stretch to Brent Burrell, trying to cut it back for a nice game. Second and two, option play. Allen just keeps it for the first. It's back to first and goal. What do you know? The big tight end, 6'8 target. Can you fit your body in there? You couldn't reach any of your inches over the line. Honestly, it's all good. We're just going to go back to the option and get it done right here. <laughs> the C parted. Adam Allen went right on through. Touchdown. Have yourself a game, senior. Seriously, just check all the boxes in this one. I mean, what what did we not have? Just getting decked on all sides. The Aztecs get falling short. Oh, you know, just a casual 40-yard field goal. Something any good kicker should be able to hit, right? Wrong. Cleveland is not that guy. He's off the team. I'm just going to go survey people on campus and see if any Salona Beach student wants to be the kicker. But that's definitely something Philip Rivers can do in his free time because right now he's going to celebrate with his boys. We just won a ball game. Salona Beach is the team of preference here in San Diego. The Lime and Lavender are making strides in this program at a rapid pace. By week, we just took the Aztecs to pound town, but Philip Rivers had other ideas and he wanted to go find a kicker. The name's Dana Babano and this guy's serious. Philip Rivers was out at the rec center like anyone would be and spotted this dude leg pressing 750 pounds. Hold the press on Babano because Tony Wiggins just committed to our school. I believe that is the first five-star recruit. It is. Welcome to the team. It looks like to me he's got a running back build, but he also has really good man coverage, zone coverage, press, some catching ability. I think we can put him anywhere across the field. Let's head back home to Salona Beach and take on the Rams. Tim Cooper, an athlete, but a natural defensive end build visiting us. That would be a big replacement on the line. Absorbent field where sponges go to soak Soak up the sun and soak up their opponent. Adam Allen really starting to find his stride late in this season. I wonder if he keeps playing like this, if he'll have a shot at the NFL. I'm optimistic for the guy, and I'm also optimistic for Salona Beach in the future here in the Mountain West. Second and two, scrambling out again. Again, maybe we got to step with Buchanan. We find him. This senior year honestly just feels different for Adam Allen. Like he's delivering 95% of his balls. Coming back with a mid attack, dropping it over the window. And of course, as I give a compliment, it usually goes that way. It doesn't work out, huh? Adam Allen back to work. That's Williams, the big tight end, rumbling and bumbling. And for those wondering, this is why I chose to start with the ball on offense. We get all the way down to the red zone here. Unfortunately, not going to cash in. But we started with the ball because we wanted points in points. Points is what we're going to get as Babano nails that one. He's got some leg, huh? Not as accurate as Cleveland, the kicker we cut, but uh, I liked his leg press, and I think he'll be able to get the ball down the field. Second and six, got a star tandem quarterback running back duo back here, and yo, I'd prefer to get out of this situation unharmed, but uh, he's got a lot of time, not enough time, clearly, as that's John John. I asked for him to deliver some more, and he is. Yes, sir, number six, busting right through the line and dropping it. Production like that just gets me amped, and production like that gets me deflated. Let's send in a blitz, see if we can get anyone through, and nah, when you got that much protection, you got like all day practically. A failed blitz always spells trouble, and they score. Honestly surprised we don't have more fans in the stands as we're five and two, and one went away from bowl eligibility. Second and 10, curl flat, that's Buchanan. A little too late. Buchanan on the ground looked like in a lot of pain. I don't know what I would do without our number one receiver. If he's gone, this is scary. Gonna need some more guys to step it up throughout this game if we don't get Buchanan back. And shout out to you, Cozart, for stepping it up, the senior. So the news came in, Buchanan is out with a concussion, so we'll be without him for the remainder of this one. But Brent Burrell getting shifty. I think we got some dudes that can step in in his place, and Adam Allen, you keep cranking the wheel when you get it moving. Wide open, Clayton King down the sideline all the way into the goal line. Man, it is such a feeling to have the league you were once struggling in become a playground of sorts. We can go ahead and ignore that last fumble like it didn't happen, am I right, guys? Rams offense was non-existent in the first half because we had the clamps and yo, you just let him do that to you? I guess I'll come out here and try to bail you out after that boneheaded mistake. Adam Allen just gonna keep it. Adam Allen saw something he liked. He turned the play into an audible. Jennings, that must have been what he liked, that matchup. 
Yep. Second and 10, the stretch, Brent Burrell up the middle. What a spin. Third and goal, that's where we shine. Or maybe not this time. Babano getting busy in his first ever collegiate game. Two field goals, he's good. He may be new to this whole college football thing, but he's definitely already the swaggiest kicker. Third and 20, handoff draw. That's a sign usually of surrender, but in this case, Marshall is off to the races. We choke. And man, the Colorado State offense can't lay off the penalties. They're back to third and 20 once more. So we have another crack at stopping them, um, and we lose it again. Third and goal, receiver in motion here. This should be a pass play, I would imagine. And yep, I'm gonna call for that any day. And that, my friends, right there is quite literally the definition of bend, don't break. Big third down here. I wanna go ice me a football game and across the body, not enough juice. He had a step originally, but not for long. Phillip Rivers, the most riskiest man in the country, goes for it on fourth down. We get it. Midfield on the sponge logo. Good things happen over here, and that good thing is the big fella staying up. Oh, man, just lost his balance on the sideline. Big third and eight. Back to Nolan Scope. Up the middle. He's got a step and down at the first and goal line. Got a talented running back carousel as Nolan finishes it. All good in the absorbent field hood today. Adam Allen looking like a solid quarterback in our final stretch for glory five consecutive wins we're six and two going up against the six and two falcons it's only a matter of time i think until we get ranked but the falcons will prove to be a test in colorado springs for this one air force on deck for the sponges we're far from water the elevation is super high it's a dry climate man out of our element. Just like how life finds its way at the bottom of the sea floor, life will find a way when the sponges rise to the occasion here. I have been to a Falcons game a time or two in my day, so this field brings back some memories. In fact, if you recall, Philip Rivers all the way back in year two had to adopt some military school philosophy after the winless season. Adam Allen, the signal caller for the sponges, really getting a groove on things, and it's nice to see Buchanan back in the lineup. Kellen cleared concussion protocol and was good to go for this one, and we'd love to see it. Play action, second and seven here. Dropped and sacked and fumbled and brown. Ah, I really don't want to go down 14-0 to the Air Force Falcons. That's not a team I want to fall behind on. And thankfully, we step up here for a sack. Gun empty split out here. This looks a bit scary. And oh, man, what a pick. Jim Hicks rattled around by his friends on the team and holds on. I might have missed that record. I didn't really actually read what it said. But it wouldn't surprise me if he was the all-time school interception leader because I've seen that man do it so many times. And Jennings, are you going to go down? That seriously was like the most casual 26 yards I've ever seen anyone pick up before. That was nuts. Back against the wall. It's third in 20 out here. Not enough time. Third and inches. I assume, yep, the run was there. Gall is gone. See ya. Minus that big pick from Jim Hicks. There's nothing our team has been able to do on defense. Falcons keep gashing us and going down this field with emphasis. Send the house and the read option, of course. Definitely would not be surprised if this was the opposition we face when we go for the Mountain West title. They are six and two for a reason, but so are we. Say hello to Mike Jennings, my friend. So they said hello to my little friend in the last one. Does lightning strike twice? In this case, it might. Back to throw another bomb. It's Buchanan, who's got a step. 97 speed, all the way down to first and goal. Out of timeouts, but as long as we don't get sacked here, we should be good to go. Across the middle, Nolan Scope, touchdown. We tie this sucker up in the blink of an eye. I told you Babano might have a few accuracy troubles early in this one, but missing the extra point, come on now. So therefore, at the end of the first half, we're down by one, and we get the ball again. Giving the Falcons defense fits right now. As we begin the second half, Kozar is just wide open down the middle. Got to give credit where credit's due. The converted running back to receiver has made a few plays in this season. Read option again. This time, Brent will finish it. Going for two to make up for our crime of missing an extra point, and we have it. Third and one. Let's make the stop. Carter. Yes, tackle for loss. Man, I don't know what's got Adam Allen all fired up, but I absolutely love what I'm seeing. Second and 10, we got an opportunity here, and Davis just lurks us in the red zone. Air Force defense still playing tough in this one, although it is a close game. Okay, we're gonna get decked. I just saw that from a mile away. Third and 27, all we have to do here is just let it rip, and that ball really underthrown. Just need to put some finishing touches on this game. Don't want to let them score any more. More fourth downs, please, and not here. On the bright side, outside of the first quarter, we've taken Air Force out of the zone, so they're forced to play a fast tempo game. And fast tempo style football is not the name of the game for the Falcons. But in this case, they're only down by nine, so that's not that big of a deficit. Let's send in the NCAA blitz, and bro, every time I blitz and it fails, like, 
No chance. Back to pass. No, handoff. I thought they were going to pass once more, but that run is physical. We'll shoot whatever it is. They need to pull out their best play right now on fourth and goal. He's not going to get anything off. Big sack. The boy swarm. Had about one, two, three, four. I don't know. All the guys on defense around the quarterback there. Come on in to Colorado Springs and give the Falcons a ride of their life. Let's fly, Salona Beach. We're seven and two. The architect, Philip Rivers, got a upgrade point here, and we can now get the Saban factor unlocked. This ability, and in particular, maxing it out, is OP. Instant commits when you offer scholarships. Yes, please. As much as there's some cool abilities in game management, I think when you're rebuilding a dynasty from the ground up, creating your own school, like recruiting's the only option. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jack Pot, Zach Miller. Tim Cooper, Jamar Nichols, welcome to Salona Beach. The system says Zach Miller is more of a running back build, but as long as you don't got the shaky Brandon Moore syndrome and throw too many inaccurate balls, you're clearly QB1. Bro, I'm in a tight battle for two of my top targets with Tennessee. They're gaining ground on us. Tim Hawley is a must have. 92 block shed, 88 finesse move, 78 speed out of high school. Humming, humming, humming. A few new prospects to the board, and we got a jam at middle linebacker. Hawaii comes to town next, and we're ready to get it done. Not only do we want to keep the win streak alive, we got to impress some more recruits. Rocking the lavender unis and the black helmets, Hawaii doesn't know what's about to hit them. It's just the mindset we've been going through these last few games, and it's been paying off. And speaking of paying off, that is exactly what Adam Allen in his senior season has been paying off in full. We are on pace to have the best season in Salona Beach history, and we're this close from being ranked. I can feel it. Good to see Brian Williams snagging a couple balls here, as in the beginning of the season, he was dropping them left and right, but he'll take three and almost to the house. First and goal, time to plunge. Brent, yes. Give me the ball, beginning of the game, I'll show you why. It just does something psychologically when you're up with a touchdown and the defense is on the field. It strikes fear into opposing offenses and it breathes confidence into our defense. Second and 14 back to pass. It's Buchanan. Third and short. We can figure this out. Scrambling. It's Adam Allen's show. You're all just witnessing it. It brings a tear to my eye, but it took four long, hard years to find a quarterback that wanted to step up. Second and six. Let's just dump this one out. Jennings has been a reliable, consistent presence here on the offense. Back to the play action. It brings a lot of pressure every time I call a play action and we're in year five. Get the defense to think we're going with a run play. Audible out to the big pass and we're going to go down the sideline. We have a step. King. Touchdown. I'm always down for some new traditions and I think this is the yearly beatdown of Hawaii that we saw last year as well. Back to the option. We have a guy waiting for us. I was hoping we had the speed to get around that. We'll go ahead at the quarter's end here. Snap it off. Drop it to scope. Nope fourth down punt who do you take coach philip rivers as man we we don't punt here especially up 14 0 we're going for the kill i guess you can't win them every time right it was all part of the plan let's be real we just wanted to keep the defense on their toes and get them some interesting scenario play like i don't think we got enough red zone defense practice this week so why don't we just Take care of that now. Back to the option. That's a classic play in the red zone, and they score. So the aggressiveness on fourth down does not pay off in this situation, but huge third down conversion here. Adam Allen, a cool nine for nine, and yeah, I tried throwing it away. Ended up being a pump fake strip sack. So what was I saying about yearly beatdown of Hawaii? Because now it's all tied up. Another third down. We got the guy as Jennings, our guy. Dropping back to pass. I think I'm just going to let one fly. And that was trash because I was hoping I get an animation where the receiver turned around. Seven seconds left. Maybe a strike here can get our field goal kicker into position and Buchanan dropped it. So with three seconds left, not much we can do. I'm just going to launch one towards the end zone direction and just add another pick to the stat sheet 14 14 and a half this team knows what they have to do they're gonna have to battle and get some stops now this is pretty sweet the fans are finally starting to recognize our hard work and they're packing the stands i mean check out all the lime and lavender all tied up here we're gonna need the lime and lavender faithful to get rowdy looking for that home field advantage and i got a man it looks like buchanan no it's jennings and we just undercut him a little too much if we caught him a little bit earlier we could have got him in stride however this this time I see the tight end with a step six foot eight Brian Williams. So as my way for saying thank you, we'll get six. Third and four, looking for some 
coverage here. Great defense. Not an efficient day on the ground so far, but maybe we can get it right here in the fourth quarter. Midline read option. Our own teammate blocked us from six. Red zone, nonetheless. That's where we want to be. That is the sweet spot in Jennings. Way to hold on. Back within the five, that means we hand it off to Brent, who plunges forward. So if you were worried at one point that Hawaii was going to get back into this, I say don't worry about it. I think we got this one in the bag. Doing a masterclass job at holding these guys down. It's up to Barry who makes the tackle. Sweet, sweet momentum on our side. Adam Allen says, let me do you another one. Perfect in the red zone today. We're gonna go to our big old tight end, Brian. 120 receiving yards for the freshman tight end. Maybe he's doing his best impression of Rock Boston. Why not go back to the big man? He's been a key piece today in the offense and now down by three touchdowns under two minutes to go. I think it's it's official official and just like that let's finish it off with a scramble adam to the house so yeah i was right yearly domination of hawaii check g to the g safe flight back to hawaii my friends but for us this journey just keeps on moving along my favorite post game screen Dwayne cade carson bynum are on the squad welcome to salona beach for now that big game gave us the lead with tim holly we're over Eastern Michigan. This guy, five-star recruit, is considering Eastern Michigan. That's right. Am I seeing this thing correctly? Number seven, New Mexico Lobos. I guess we're not the only team that's been rebuilding well. Another game, another star-studded cast of prospects. This is insane. Number seven, New Mexico Lobos. We're on a seven-game win streak, so sevens across the board. What's going to give? I am pleasantly surprised at how well the simulation is done for New Mexico because in real life and in year one of this rebuild, they are trash. So if we can knock off a top 10 AP opponent, it's almost a guarantee we get ranked. So you already know that's exactly what we're trying to do here with the sponges cruising. Starting with the ball again on the opening drive, six foot eight tight end breaks free and we miss him. Adam Allen back to work, looking to make up for that. Finds Mike Jennings. Four minutes in, counting across the middle of the field it's buchanan and hold up now here we come ready to soak up the opposition third down give it to the fullback see if he can plunge inches short all right here's the drill everyone thinks we're gonna run so what we're gonna do is pass and my theory is williams springs open over here he does not the pressure destroys us turnover tell me what is all the hype about here with this number seven lobos unit i am interested to see john john is interested to see too and that is a new school record really turning it up nine sacks in the season for big number six the stud defensive tackle just never ceases to amaze me playing for the pride of san diego we have to stop these Lobos. And that last sack by Green hurt a little bit as Brandon Moore is going to have to spell in. We haven't seen this guy in a while, so it's going to be a unique experience. So Adam dislocated his shoulder out for one whole quarter. It's going to be a deep ball, and he caught it. Oh my goodness, it deflected off two hands there. Somehow, some way, the fourth and 18 paid off. It was some weird middle ground situation where you didn't want to punt it. You didn't want to kick a field goal. It paid out in the end. Brandon Moore scores. All right, so I'm eyeing down this Lobos offense. I see Winston over there, number 11. Jameis Winston's cousin is a Lobos receiver. Let's go ahead and bring some action here. A big sack. Is that John John again? Yes, sir. 10 sacks on the season. Dropping back. Third and five. Brandon Moore, what do you got for me? Jumping it out to the running back. It feels like Moore doesn't have as much burst as I remember. These guys are seventh in the nation for a reason, and they're starting to drive down the field into the red zone. Dampier with the carry. Winston in motion. Got some pointers from Jameis Winston before the game. We can't let that dude do anything to us. Instead, Jack. Jackson does us dirty. Never thought I'd say this, but in year five of a dynasty rebuild, I am in an intense battle against the New Mexico Lobos. Adam Allen, though, is the right guy for the job, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. I think he's got a step to it. Does he? Does he? Yes, King does. And just snapping all kinds of records out here. Passing Dylan Wave's single season passing record. Quick slants, trying to finish the job. Oh, man, he had a wide open guy and he waited too long. Who cares? That's got me hyped. I'm not going to lie. And that also has got me hyped. 48 seconds to go. I'm just going to start slinging and sling I will. Shooting my webs like I'm Spider-Man out here. Third and nine. I see you, King, looking to do it himself. Let's get Brent a tote here in the goal line formation. Not quite. I'm so confident I'm not even taking a timeout. It might be risky. I got all three, but I want to choose some clock and take my six. 
eat my cake too. So where's this number seven team everyone's been talking about? And I gotta watch my mouth. I talk some smack, they keep driving down. They're really showing me why I gotta keep my mouth shut till the game's over. They need points and they want more than three. Winston gets him a first and goal. I guess you just can't hold Dale down all game, can you? Easy touchdown. I want more points though to feel confident about the job here. And that slant's gonna spring open to Cozart, the converted running back. Good catch. Third and two, read option. Destroyed. This is honestly a huge fourth down conversion, so I have to get this, and we do. There's that Cozart man. Getting a step closer to a big upset win over number seven. As Ariana Grande says, I want it, I got it. I want it, I got it. Third and 20, half pack draw, nowhere, nada. Are they giving up? Crack open the champagne. This is our first ever top 10 opponent that we beat. And go ahead and pop open some more champagne because this is almost guaranteed to be in the top 25, our first time to do it. Hold the student section back, folks, as they're about to storm the field here in Salona Beach. The students are going wild and they are just about to overflow onto the field. The mountain has been climbed and this has been a monumental time in Salona Beach history. The good news just keeps on coming in. Blake Williams, Lewis Wade, two more additions. Oh no, Tim, Hawley, we're losing ground to Tennessee. Let's just hope we can freeze the battle and get to the off season where I can pump all my points. Looking to finish with a 10 win season, we're traveling to the Black Void, UNLV. So I'm gonna send this game because I still have problems with the black field. Yep, I was right. We're still in the black hole of a field. Simming to the end of the game, we're losing 7-0. I really want to get 10 wins, and I feel like I could have had good control over the story, but hey, we'll see if our team can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe if the Sim thinks we're up to the task, and we are up by four. UNLV down by one. This is getting way too intense. They're up by two now. A field goal. Bobana, the newest kicker, comes in and nails a three-point field goal to win the game with like no time left. Are you kidding me? Philip Rivers just found this dude on campus and he just nails a game winner. Adam Allen was efficient, but no points. Brent and Nolan both get a touchdown on the ground. John John, another sack. Count him up. I must be tripping because we're not in AP top 25. I almost guaranteed it after beating number seven Lobos, but... I guess it wasn't enough. There we go, now it's history. Number 22 in the top 25 at the end of the season here going into the championship weekend. So winning by one point in the void really helped when it came to the top 25 rankings. And now it's a ranked battle for the Mountain West Championship game and guess who? Hey. It's the Lobos again. Super proud of this team. 8-0 in the Mountain West with a top-ranked defense. Led by none other than yours truly, John John, the sophomore with 11 sacks. We did it once. I'm ready to put the dog back in the cage. Fresno State. I did not realize they had this good of a season. We didn't play them this year, but they also went perfect 8-0 in the Mountain West. We just had the head-to-head -head tiebreaker, I guess. So good thing we won out. Mountain West Championship game hosted here in Salona Beach. So many school firsts that you are witnessing in real time. This is awesome to see. I love seeing all the fans in the stands just packing and selling this place out. And honestly, it's just as sweet to see a number next to our name for the first time in-game as well. So I am just excited beyond belief third and three back to the sprint out i see a man but i think i got baited really hard i just was in tunnel vision mode there there's winston again cousin of Jameis winston back to work this time he gets the carry and he's got some space lobos desperately want to prove that it's different this time that they're not the team they were when they got blown out and it looks like the lobos actually won the two games they played after us so an impressive 10 and 2 season by all accounts here by the new mexico lobos the sponges are looking to wreak havoc twice. Shaking off that last blunder, we're back to work. Adam Allen scrambling, gonna hit his receiver. What am I doing? Definitely letting the championship jitters get to me, I suppose, with Adam Allen out here and we're whiffing again. Cool, we got that out of our system. I think we're back to the attack. Here we go, Adam Allen to Cozart abusing that linebacker in coverage. Scrambling, looking for an open guy. That's gonna be the big tight end. Williams has had some sure hands lately. I feel like I've said that a couple times already, but I actually really mean it. Williams has been someone I can rely on. Why do I even bother complimenting people? That's good defense, but why do I bother? Maybe Buchanan can get loose with his speed. Don't really feel like punting here on fourth down, so we're gonna go for it across the middle turnover. Unfortunately, playing some of our worst football right now in championship weekend, so it is a shame to see. On third and goal here, maybe some covered two is exactly what we need, and Winston says, 
I want a touchdown. We say not so fast. Could have been worse. So giving up only three, not too shabby. Now with a fresh set of downs, I think Adam Allen has the confidence to go to work and make some plays. Hurrying back, doing it all over again. This time, many blockers in front. Lobo's defense playing much stingier in this one. And are you kidding me? That was not very close and right into his hands. Lucky to even have another chance here before halftime. We have thrown so many picks. Let's run the read option here at our own risk. And unfortunately, the risk was too much. Second half action, we have a touchdown. You do see that right. You didn't get to see the clip because I simmed the punt return and we scored. Special teams, special plays, special players. That's a sketch reference there because that's exactly what happened for us. Now we can actually start to ball here in the championship game and Adam Allen's ready to let loose. Absolutely saved by the special teams play and absolute monster catch right here to get first and goal. We're gonna give it to the fullback here, see if Chavez can plunge in, he does. Feel a little fraudulent for how bad we've been playing, but I'll take the lead nonetheless. Second 11, bringing the blitz. Oh man, you're gonna be feeling that tomorrow. How he's not in the blue injured tent right now, I don't know. The world may never know, but third and 15 and looking to get the stop, it's fourth down. This very well could be the defining drive of the championship game if we can spring free with some points because we're about to enter fourth quarter football and anything goes in the fourth. So Brandon Moore is stepping in. Adam Allen must have got hurt on that last run. But hey, I'm not a Debbie Downer. I appreciate all that Brandon Moore has done for this program. He stepped in and won big games many times. And honestly, all things considered in hindsight, it probably was a good thing to have a 1A, 1B for a couple of years. These two quarterbacks play different and when one started to suck, we can always put in the other. And that competition is exactly what led to today, both quarterbacks playing at an elevated level. Second and 13, we're up by 11. So Lobo's got to work fast and our defense just has to hold. Calling for a blitz on third and 14. He is nowhere near his receiver. In essence, this is a huge fourth game for the Mountain West Championship title that is dumped underneath. Does he have the yak? No, that is a turnover on downs. Salona Beach has just locked themselves up the Mountain West Championship, barring a crazy turnover or something. I am pumped right now. Are you pumped right now? This has been some textbook football. This episode has been nothing but good vibes. We haven't even lost a game. You guys got all victories. I'm sorry that we had to be the team to come out and expose the Lobos, but that's exactly what we're doing. Like, don't get me wrong. Lobos are definitely much improved from the version you see in today's day and age, but... They're not all that. All out of timeouts now. Little slip screen off the hands. They're going to get at least a chance to get the ball back. Or will they? Philip Rivers says, go for it. Say less, my man. I got you. We love to go for it out here. And I saw it a little too late. The senior day send off championship game. Nothing feels sweeter than this. I get to send out the foundational five that I talked about in the beginning. Big Willie, Shane Dorsey, Alex Brown, Brandon Moore, and Adam Allen all in style. Nothing like giving your most important guys a ring to leave the school and remember by. Maybe I had to slow my roll here just a smidge because the Lobos want to score and make it interesting. Third and 17, they're going with a pass over the middle, fourth down. This is for all the marbles, or I guess whatever marbles were remaining, and he's got nothing open except terrible DB coverage. Nonetheless, you see the troops on the field. It's a victory formation. Lobos made it interesting, but that's all she wrote. And your Salona Beach sponges are Mountain West champions on top of the mountain. Scott Carter, another senior linebacker, got player of the game. Mountain West champ, Hold it up, my guy, Philip Rivers. You have done a masterclass job. Add trophy to profile? I think so. Let's go bowling to Las Vegas. And oh, the irony, we get to face Arizona. U of A, the team that skunked us in week one, we get to face them at the very end of the season two. So it comes full circle in this one. Clearly on paper, they're the better team, but I think we got a lot on our side. A victory here in the Las Vegas Bowl would be the ultimate revenge against U of A, who beat us in week one. Starting out on defense in this one, I'm coming in with some heat and we're gonna open this game up with a big sack fumble. We're here to play. We're here to show that we belong. Willie the senior all over him. Come on, relentless. Coming out with a certified bang to this one. Ah, uh, no, no, all our hard work just destroyed. Well, what I thought was gonna brew into a great defensive stand has kind of stalled out. We can still do it justice though by limiting it to three points or less. I'll take either or. 
Yes, three point attempt, not the easiest, but should be routine for a college kicker. Now it's our turn on offense. Adam Allen to Brent Burrell, first carry of the game. Fourth and inches, honestly, just need to hand it up the middle to Nolan Scope. I think he can do it, and he does. So we won the Hawaii Bowl last year. We want to win the Las Vegas Bowl this year. And if you recall, Brandon Moore took the reins in the Hawaii Bowl. So for Adam Allen, this would mean a lot to him. And if we come together as a team, I think we can really get the pieces in play for a big showing. Speaking of Brandon Moore, uh, he's back in the game. So Adam, you good, my friend? Moore's got some bowl game experience, so he's been in these type of situations before and knows how to handle them. Adam Allen back in the game, looking to get a touchdown of his own because Brandon Moore got the last one, and Buchanan is off to the races. 97 speed just burns the man. That is where the Alaskan sponge comes in handy. At the start of the second quarter, I believe we already have more points in this game than we did in the first matchup in week one. For the newest quarterback that comes to town in Salona Beach, there is a lot of footage out there of the receivers he's going to be throwing to. They're all staying. So I expect this supporting cast to help pick up the new quarterback within minutes of stepping on campus. Williams is going to be a big, big connection for the future. Brian's only going to be a sophomore, and that's going to be a dude the freshman quarterback can go to. Third and long here. Arizona is quickly down by 18. Where did the times go? Two minute drill here. Third down for the sponges. Adam Allen gets free and that's going to be a big first down. I don't want to talk about daggers already in the first half of the game, but if we can score here, it's going to be a hard game to come back from. And with Adam behind the helm, he's finding Jennings. Play action, looking for an open man. He's got William springing free again. Third and goal. Seeing if anyone gets open, we got a receiver and inaccurate ball on the run. Let's just use our walk-on kicker here, see if he can cash in for three. He does. It's getting ugly fast. Three and out for the Wildcats, and we're going to go back to the air. And yeah, I'm getting greedy. Third quarter football has looked a lot of the same. Three and out, three and out, punt, punt, punt. On the bright side, we are one quarter away from securing our 12th win and bowl victory on the season. First and goal, Adam Allen and the Sponges really making the city of San Diego proud. This game has literally been a 180 flip from week one. We are now the ones dealing all the punishment. And Arizona stands literally no chance. I don't care if they score two more touchdowns here in the next minute. Fourth and one, it's time to make a stop and we do letting the backups get the final snaps of the game we got brandon moore handing off to scope letting some of the seniors get their last touches and there you have it folks victory formation brandon moore takes the final kneel down can you believe it? Conquered the Mountain twice in one season. The Mountain West title, check. Las Vegas Bowl, check. We've done so many things the school has never seen or even tasted, and it feels amazing. And the fans are loving it. Some of the alma mater of the newest school in FBS football they get to celebrate their team on the biggest stage. Another trophy to add to the profile. A whole lot of records set for Salona Beach this year. Adam Allen, 3,100 passing yards, 24 touchdowns. 15 touchdowns on the ground for Brent Burrell. Jennings and Buchanan both had five, but there's a thousand yard receiver. Brian Williams, 620 and seven. Really good stuff from the freshman. Hats off to John John, 12 sacks and 20 TFLs. And then freshman corner Goodman had two ends of his own. Hands down the best year in this program's history, 12 and two mountain. West Championship and Las Vegas Bowl. And look at that. Phillip Rivers back up to 32 and 32 in his coaching career. Looks like everyone's graduating, no one declaring. And what's this? A level 31 OC has joined the ranks. That is perfect because now we get to pump all these traits that our new quarterback and offense is going to benefit from. In fact, he's going to max out the whole skill tree. I was thinking there was a slim chance, maybe a late round flyer on a guy, but no one got picked up in the draft. Off season recruiting, I got a couple guys in mind, but I already know I want to pump so many points into Tim Hawley. It's not even funny. I just have to bring a guy with 92 block shed, 88 finesse to the team. Close to 9,000 points on Tim Hawley. That might be a little bit of overkill, but I don't want to chance it. 3.5 on Trent Christian, a gem middle linebacker and 2.5 on athlete here, five-star potential receiver. I don't know, in hindsight, I probably could have allocated this better, but let's just hope fingers crossed. I'm not too convinced I'll get Joe Davis. Yo, no way, we got the full haul. Tim Hawley, Trent Christian, and Joe Davis, as well as Randall Cooper and Brandon Newton joined the team. We really just came out of nowhere, didn't we? The fourth best recruiting class in all of college football. The next couple of years are gonna be a movie. Look at all the athletes we brought in. The only one that makes sense at quarterback is like who we we thought 
Zach Miller. Dwayne Cade, a textbook receiver here, also has the ability to play high level tight end. I'll go receiver for now. Looks like this Juco guy was actually a quarterback too. So we'll have a backup, a one and two, just in case. Tim Cooper, an athlete here with a defensive build. I'm going to put him at right outside linebacker. David Smith, new strong safety. Joe Davis, five star from South Carolina, another receiver in the wings. I do think Blake Williams makes sense at running back because he has the speed and excel. And that leaves Tony Wiggins, five star from Rhode Island, who on paper here actually lines up best at running back. So maybe I just put Tony here and go grab the other guy, throw him back to receiver. So Blake, who I put here originally is now receiver. Dwayne Cade, Joe Davis, and Blake Williams, three stud receivers already at the, like the 90 speed threshold going to complement our new quarterback well. Tim Hawley, literally a plug and play menace. Training results are in and we have two 90 overalls atop the roster. It's Mark Coleman and Mike Jennings. Got to cut four players now. I'm going to start with some of the lowest overall. Jesse Randall, a redshirt senior at 65 overall. I don't know how he's been on the team this long, but he's gone. Perfect way to cap off the off season. We got one more upgrade point for Phillip Rivers. He's now maxed out the Saban factor and has a 20% chance of instant commitments in this next recruiting portal. If you're soaking up the series, go ahead and drop a like and hit that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss all the action that's right around the corner in Salona Beach. In the meantime, go ahead and click one of these videos as I'm sure you're going to love it.